Welcome in, welcome in, all my renegades out there. How y'all doing? If you guys are inside here and you're new to the channel, please hit that like, share, definitely subscribe, most important, so you know when I'll be dropping more Ren song reactions, more Ren work reactions, regardless, we all renegades around here. And if y'all don't know, check my link in the description and you will see all the songs that I've reacted to. And I have over 70, maybe 80 plus Ren song so have fun but no thank each and every one of you i've seen from the last video that i posted that Ren did. oh my god i've seen the likes views the comments i was out of the algorithm for about three months it's been so depressing i'm not even gonna lie i've been like should i do another reaction and then recently i've been seeing the love i've been seeing people jumping on my reactions so You don't even know. I really appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's get straight into this. Um, as I said, protect REN. You know, the industry will try their best to always try and keep down people who speak the truth. Yeah. Um, we got here, I think it's a new song. Um, Sick Boy, episode one, The Flame of Prometheus. Episode one. This is a song. That's four minutes long, so. All right. It doesn't matter. We're here for it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Welcome in again, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Renegades, stand up. Have you ever heard the story of Prometheus? Let me start somewhere near the end. Okay. After the great collapse, the sick were rounded up like rabid stray dogs. Those who were strong enough were put to work in subterranean farms. First, they would be stripped of all the dignity afforded to a human. Then, their bodies would be decontaminated and purged of the stench from the surface. In order to create an effective cog, you must first bleed out of all autonomy and free will. Yeah, come on, come on. Understood this and used it. Oh, 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 this is actually an episode. What Ren doing is on it, oh. It's TV little series kind of episodes, yeah? Oh, okay. All right. Let's start back again, though, yeah? I was just talking some issue and people are sick, they try to, and I think this is basing it on a <clears throat> uh, Armageddon -y kind of future, but based, basically drawing reference to what they do today. Maybe a bit more extreme in what they're saying here, but it happens today. Nobody wants to talk about it. Let's go, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're near the end. Ah, let's go, let's go. After the great collapse, the sick were rounded up like rabid stray dogs. Those who were strong enough were put to work in subterranean farms. First, they would be stripped of all the dignity afforded to a human. Then, their bodies would be decontaminated and purged of the stench from the surface. In order to create an effective cog, you must first bleed out of all autonomy and free will. He or she must stop being human and become a limb. You're hearing this, yeah? And you got certain government bodies, figures, people with power and a lot of wealth who actually think like this. I mean, as if we didn't learn from the Holocaust. You know what I'm saying? And slavery and other things throughout history. You know what I mean? Where people were deemed less than nothing. Now, this has happened throughout history. It's happening today. In 2024. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, let's go. Those who were deemed too sick for work were discarded. To keep them alive would only further drain the earth of vital resources. It was a kindness to let them die. 
For years, this is how the program would run. But it was a kindness to let them die. Yo, you, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You got people today who think like this, you know. And those who decided to fund and put money into the research labs that created COVID. Yeah, I said it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, did I just fast forward? Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I would only further drain the earth of vital resources. It was a kindness to let them die. For years, this is how the program would run. But, like many systems that came before it, it was at the mercy of chaos theory. Chaos theory is often misunderstood. It is an oxymoron, a determined element of chaos, one that can send a whole system spiraling into mayhem. Facts. was a prophecy. It told of a genetic anomaly, a human girl whose DNA harbored immunity to the virus, a blueprint for the future. For decades, the humans searched, setting up a global infrastructure of testing facilities in vain. With time, the candle of hope burned down to a blackened wick. Oi. Whisper. The one girl had, had the cue. How are they going to try and... I haven't even seen this, but usually when they, you know, the higher powers above, they try and quarantine and keep her away. So the cure does not get out. They don't want this. They, they don't want this person to be alive. Oh, no, 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 no. Then their vice grip on all power will vanish. Members of the prophecy could still be caught traveling on the wind between members of the sick. Rivaling factions saw it as nothing but a dying superstition. Others clung to it like an amulet of hope. The rich and the elite, of course, used it as a method of control. But I'll tell you. Desperation is a powerful drug. Above fear, above loyalty to the party, the Dominion understood this and used it to their advantage. I said this. I'm telling you, Rob, like, there's just evil people out there in the world that just don't want to see the world um, flourished. You know what I mean? The world do good. Like, they just want to see everything burn. If you strip man of his basic needs with enough time, he becomes a beast. Without shame and without morality. Primal. How ironic that the creations and brilliance of man should reduce him to his primal state. I guess with time, everything returns to source. While it was still part of protocol to test every subject for immunity to the virus, the outcome was predictable. There was no suspense. Any hope that testing would bear fruit died years ago. That is until we introduce chaos theory. Hey. And that's the girl. Yeah, cause they don't want her out with the with the cure. You know what I'm saying? Exactly what I said. Lock her up. Yo, this is deep, you know. This kind of draws a accurate picture of what's happening today behind the shadows. You know what I'm saying? I want to say this again. We need to protect our boy, yeah? You see where he's opening the world's eyes to what's happening? They don't like this. They do not like this. You know what I'm saying? Protect Red. Seriously, man. Yeah, that's that, that this this boy, this boy is different. He's built different. This is why I'm a Ren fan. This is why I got over 70, 80 songs I've reacted to. So if you haven't seen them, go and have a look. Links in the description. But no, thank you to every one of you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Like and share, comment below, and I will see each and every one of you on the next reaction. Take care, stay safe, be blessed. Yep. Yeah?